This is flip class video number six for chemical engineering thermodynamics two. The content comes from chapter 10.4 in the textbook. And it would consider vapor liquid equilibrium. Earlier, we derived the criteria for equilibrium that the capacity of same species in all phases supposed to be equal. So if we apply the same criteria to vapor liquid equilibrium, we can write equation like that. Now, for the side, web side, we can define fugacity coefficient as written here. This is for real gas mixture, for any kind of mixture, gas mixture. Fugacity coefficient is derived this way. On the other hand, on the right hand side, the liquid phase, the liquid solution is real solution, then we derive the activity coefficient like this. So if we rearrange the equation so that we can get fugacity in vapor and fugacity in liquid and plug into the top equation, we can get this equation. This equation is generic equation for equilibrium of vapor and liquid for any kind of mixture. However, this equation is quite complicated because of these two coefficients. So we are going to consider simple case first. The most simple case is when the vapor behaves like ideal gas and the liquid behaves like ideal solution. This takes place whenever you have components which are really similar in molecular structure and the pressure of the system is quite low. If we apply this assumption for ideal gas assumption, the coefficient becomes 1. For ideal solution assumption, activity coefficient becomes 1. So we can drop these two coefficients from the equation and get this simple equation. This simple equation can be used Calculate mole fraction in either side if you know the mole fraction in other side as long as you can calculate fugacity of the pure species in this highlight box. Note that the fugacity here is fugacity of pure species I in liquid phase. It needs to be found you know, before you can calculate the mole fraction in either side. In order to find fugacity of PO species in liquid phase, we need to consider other system. And the system that we are going to consider would be system containing PO species I. This is the system of our interest. It is a mixture of many components, two phases, at constant temperature and pressure. In order to find F, Fi of liquid phase, we are going to if our system appears species of species I, but still holds two phases, once you hold two phases here for pure species, the pressure here is no longer the pressure of the system. This pressure is called vapor pressure of species I. So we are going to change the pressure here to be vapor pressure. This is a system that we are going to use to find fugacity in liquid phase. Now consider the system. The criteria for equilibrium in this particular system is that fugacity of two phases be the same. The only difference in this equation is that the fugacity has no cap. This is fugacity in pure species. The temperature and pressure, pressure here becomes vapor pressure. So we can still assume that the Side, the pressure is not so high, so it can be assumed as ideal gas. So if it is ideal gas, fugacity in vapor can be written here, but fugacity coefficient in vapor can be assumed to be 1, and pressure would become vapor pressure. So we can get fugacity in vapor phase would equal to vapor pressure, and plug this into the above equation, then we fugacity in liquid phase to be vapor pressure of your species I. Keep this in mind and go back to the original equation that we used 
at the moment, plug this back in here. You get the partial pressure here, yip equal to xi times vapor pressure of that BCI. This is what we call Routh's law. This Routh's law can be used for calculation of more fraction in either vapor or liquid phase as long as the species that are interested in is species that has high concentration in liquid phase. Let me give you an example for calculation. The system of the consideration here is a system of two, two species, water and air, in two phases, liquid phase and vapor. Of course, in vapor, we have air and water vapor. In liquid phase, some part of the air dissolves into water. If the system remains at 25 degrees Celsius and pressure of 1 atm, we can calculate how much water vapor in the vapor. Using Ralph's law, this is Ralph's law. Then rearrange equation and write it down for water. You can get more fraction in vapor as a function on the right hand side here. For water, Water vapor pressure, it can be found either by using Ongton equation or simply using steam table. If we pick up steam table for 25 degrees Celsius here, we can find the, pressure, the vapor pressure to be 3.1 sec. Just note it here, this is vapor pressure of water. Then, the more fraction of water in liquid phase here can be assumed to be very close to 1 because the content of air dissolved into water is very, very small. So if we make approximation that more fraction of water in liquid is 1, plug into the Ralph's Law equation here, we can solve for more fraction of water in vapor to be about 0 0.03. This is the more fraction in vapor phase of water. On the other hand, if we want to repeat the calculation, but this time for air, the more fraction in vapor phase of air can be, can be written in, in terms of Ralph's law like so. But this time we are going to have a problem because vapor pressure of air cannot be found at 25 degrees C, basically because right now the temperature of the system, 25 degrees C here, exceed temp critical temperature of air. So therefore, air is no longer vapor. Right now, in this system, air is gas. So as long as it is gas, it is not vapor, we cannot find vapor pressure. So the calculation cannot be done. That's why we cannot use Routh's law for species with very low concentration in liquid phase. In order to overcome the problem, there's uh, another equation proposed by a guy called Henry's. This equation is called Henry's Law, written in the similar form as Ralph's Law, except that he changed the vapor pressure into the constant called Henry constant. This constant must be found experimentally, and it is reported in many, many thermodynamics handbook. If we applied Henry's law for the calculation in the example I showed you earlier, remember, previously we obtained the more fraction of water to be 0 0.03. So therefore, more fraction of air is supposed to be 1 minus 0 0.03 to, to get about 0 0.96. 0 96 we applied Henry's law to air. This is Henry's law written for air. Rearrange the equation so that we can get more fraction of air in liquid phase to get y air p divided by Henry constant. And Henry constant will be found to be about 72,000. And that is found from the handbook. Note that Henry constant is the characteristic properties of pair of species, in this case, air and water. It is also function of temperature. For 25 degrees C, the value is here. So if you plug in the number, 
then make a calculation, you get the mole fraction of air in water, liquid water, to be very, very small, like 1.3 to the power of minus 5, like this. Now, this equation, both Ralph's law and Henry's law, are applicable only under assumption of ideal gas and ideal solution. But in real problem, the solution sometimes is not ideal, even though we can assume the vapor to be ideal gas. So the next case that we need to make calculation would be when the gas is still ideal, but the solution is no longer ideal. In this case, the activity coefficient must be incorporated into the equation, but fugacity coefficient can be assume, assumed to be 1, like this. This equation is from modified Ralph's law because the left-hand side remains just the same as Ralph's law. To write down the equation for binary system, say the system of species A and B, this is uh, modified Ralph's law written for species A, and this one is for species B. I bring the left-hand side of these two equations together. Each of them would be partial pressure. Yap is partial pressure of A, added by partial pressure of B, that would give you total pressure. And then plot this equation here to there, and from here to there, make a rearrangement. And at Ya as a function of mole fraction, Xa and Xb. Then we get this equation. Now, if we consider the interaction between two molecules of A, if the interaction of A and A are stronger than interaction between molecules of A and B, in this case, activity coefficient of A and B in liquid phase would be greater than 1. And then the deviation from Ideality will become a positive deviation in the sense that the base diagram here will be shifted like this picture. Now both um, bubble line and dew line will become together at one single point here. This point is called minimum boiling biotrope. At this point, more fraction in liquid phase and more fraction of vapor phase remain would be the same, which would cause big problem for distillation. So if we use the modified Ralph's law, in this case, at azeotrope, yi and xi becomes the same, they cancel out. What we have to do for azeotrope would be this relationship. On the other hand, if the interaction between a molecules A are weaker than uh, interaction between A and B, in this case, Activity coefficient A and B in liquid phase will become less than 1, and deviation would become negative deviation like that. The S diagram will be shifted as the trope will be formed, but it is deviated like, like in this picture. This is what we call maximum boiling azeotrope. But still at azeotrope, the more fraction in both phases remain the same causes the same problem in this relation as well. So if you put it in the, this relationship in modified Ralph's law, the same equation will be obtained.